Okay, boys and girls, this is Den, sports fans, JDOD, and I'm here in the bowels of a convention center in Denver, Colorado, a uh, guest of Infor. And I'm with this wonderful gentleman from a place I came to from recently, from to recently. Yes, I even came from there, Sydney, mm -hmm. Australia. Sir, who are you? What do you do? Thanks. Uh, Alan Davies. I'm the um, CIO for Asia Pacific for a material handling company called Dematic. Right. Global organisation. Mm -hmm. um, and I could say that most of your viewers and listeners will have been touched by one of our systems at some stage. Will they have regretted it? Absolutely not. If they drink alcohol, they would love us. Alcohol? We do alcohol, don't we, mm -hmm. boys and girls? Anyway, listen, you, you have a great mobile story. You, you're very interested in that particular um, area. Why, why are we talking about mobile at uh, a conference of this kind? Well, look, I, it, it's definitely the way of the future. We, um, as a CIO, you know, we, we're um, positioned that we have to look at the security of a network. Our, our intellectual property is, is paramount to, to us. It, if it got into our competitors' hands, we only have a small number of competitors in the world. So our networks are tightly controlled. But there's an influx now of personal devices, such as the iPhones and the iPads. And what's interesting is that these requirements aren't coming from the bottom up. They're coming from the top down. So this bring your own device jazz is coming from the top, it's not coming from the bottom. Oh, absolutely. I hope some of you writers out there are li listen to this. <laughs> so carry, <laughs> carry on. Um, and so, as a CIO, we, we, how do we get these devices onto our network sure. securely? Sure. They, they're, a, they're a consumption device, and they, they consume data. You, you don't really want to do a lot of work on them because they're not designed to do mm -hmm. that. So, I, I was looking at if these devices are coming into our network. How do we make use of them? And how do we actually add a business value for the device? Um, certainly when you go down the track to, when you look at our field service engineers, any information that we can get from the field back to our ERP system in the shortest possible time, of course, reduces invoice generation time and therefore improves your cash flow. Um, but when we go back to coming up that chain to the executives, what do our executives want? They want to be, they want to have information at their fingertips when they're talking to our customers or our potential customers. And what was really interesting, when we started this process with Infor, I have a number of um, general managers mm. who, or, who all have sales functions reporting mm. to them. And they said, what do you want to know? What, what do you want in an application? If, if I could give you information on your iPad, what would you want to know? Mm. And we had questions such as, I'd like to know if there's a, a, a problem at the site. I don't want to walk into a hostile customer. Right. Um, I'd like to know if they're on credit hole, are they paying their bills? And that comes from our fart generation such as myself. <laughs> and then as you get down to the younger GMs, mm. they want more external intelligence. I'd like to know about the CEO. Is he new? Has he been around for a while? Where was he before? Is the organisation potentially in a takeover or a, a merge mode? Mm. What's their share price been doing? Mm. I want that external uh, intelligence. Mm. Um, so we, we discussed this with Infor and I thought, you know, if you could get all of that into one application, what a fantastic start for your salespeople. Mm. Um, and we had that discussion with Infor 10 months ago. Right. And, um, where, where are you up to now then? Where, well, the, the application is being heavily promoted at this event. You know, right. it, it's new, it's out there. Um, okay. There's some infrastructure that you need to put in place mm. um, before you can use this. And you're happy to do that? Oh, absolutely, right. absolutely. It's, it's based around the Info Ion product. Right. Um, and Ion isn't just going to service the, the mobility portion mm. of the business. It, it also enhances a lot of other functionality that we need. Um, it's a significant investment. Um, but you're going to get a lot of bang for the buck. We're going to get a lot of bang for the buck on, on ION, definitely. Right. Um, the mobile application at this point, it'll be a nice to have, a nice feel, it's a nice tool. Mm. By the end of this um, 2012, with what's coming, it's going to be a, a tool that's going to deliver a lot of financial benefits to us, I believe. And as, and as the CIA, you've got your nuts on the block when you say something like that, right? Absolutely. I, I, it's quite interesting. I gave a presentation at a um, CIA conference in Sydney about a month ago, 
and, and it was about mobile devices and management mm -hmm. of mobile devices. And I said, these devices are being introduced into the environment by the CEOs. Yeah. They're, they're coming from the top down. Yeah. We, this hasn't been a law case that I'm aware of anywhere in the world yet where significant IP has been released or stolen from a mobile device. Mm. And I said, it's curious, when that does and when that law case happens, mm. Whose head's going to roll? Well, it's going to be yours, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the CIOs. So, although we're, we're not getting any say in the implementation sure. of these devices, sure. they're coming. We, we should be enhancing them in any case mm. because, you know, I've, I've been around since Captain Cook sailed into Sydney Harbour. Um, you don't look that old. Oh, should you? I am. <laughs> um, and you see the kids, the way kids interact with technology today, right. you know. And, and, and this is how our systems have to be. We mm. can't hold it back. We may not understand it. Um, and I am actually forcing myself okay. to, to use an iPad. And I, um, I played around for a little period of time with the, the first release of Road Warrior. Um, I, I deleted off the iPad because I, my fault, I screwed something up. Mm. Um, and just the way kids think, or, or I shouldn't say kids, but the youth think, mm. um, some of the functionality that you, where you can say, where's customers in North Sydney? Right. And it pops up on a map and then it'll give you directions there. And they, they just get that, don't they? They yeah. just understand that. that that's right? how they work. And, and you're going to have to accommodate all that kind of thing together with the kinds of information that your sea level people want and everybody else in between, right? Uh, absolutely. And, and that's presumably where ION is fitting in for you in terms of the way in which you're surfacing data that's both generated internally plus whatever you've got to get external, is that right? Correct. That's ION will also though enhance our internal operation because um, well, though it takes information feeds from, and we have a number of silo, um, info applications, yep. so it's a consolidation of all that information right? Um, and therefore we can report against um, the business vault real time right. instead of waiting for a batch process to run yeah. overnight. Yeah. Um, so it will give us a, a lot of um, workflow, a lot of intelligence mm. to, to automate a lot of processes. Transform the business to a certain extent, do you think? I don't know. Transform would be transform is that overragging it, yeah, maybe. Right. Absolutely. I, I I think it's going to drive efficiencies. Right. Um, it's going to block some um, holes where processes may not have been followed. Right. We really want to get. We want to be in a position where we're closer to the customer. Yeah. So, yeah. and and an example of that is when a customer places an order on you, they place their trust mm. in that you're going to deliver mm. a system that's going to meet their needs. Mm. Um, so, and then it goes through a multiple number of people, that order, and right. it's touched by a number of people. And all you need is one person to stuff up mm. and, and forget to do something, mm. and suddenly we've got a delay in a project. Mm. Well, we want a system that will say, we've seen you've placed a purchase order, We've seen you say that it should be here in seven days, but we haven't seen anyone receive it. Mm. So let's send an alert to right. that purchasing manager to say, you said the product should be here, is it or isn't it? Right, right. And if it isn't, action it. Okay. Um, and then if it is here, mm. then automatically we can send an email to our customer and say, your product's in our depot, we're now configuring it, mm. and this should be. So these are the sort of things that we're looking for to eye on to deliver for us. Right. And then when you can extend that out in, onto a mobile device, um, I, I think that's going to be very powerful. Okay. Too. So how long should it be before we come back and ask you, hey, when the bell rang, did it all work for you? Um, well, I would say early next year, and you'll be behind info, be, trust me, they'll be the first to drag me out and stick me in front of someone <laughs> to, to, to say whether it worked. And I, uh, to their credit, I have to say this, that even if it didn't work, they'd drag me out and put me in front of the, the, the crowds. Uh, be well, very, that's what we like to see, isn't it? That's what well, we like look, to see. I, I think what I appreciate, and I think what info to a degree appreciate as well, that these systems don't go in hassle-free. Right, right, right. You know, right. You, if you don't tell the warts and all story, then you're just bullshitting to people and people don't like to be bullshitted to. We don't like bullshit. <laughs> so if you have a problem, we had a problem, yeah. how did we address it or how did Info address it? And, and uh, you know, I'm very honest in my presentations and so I'll tell you, what's all story early next year if you like. Thank you very much indeed. I'll take that as an open invitation. It is. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks very much.